YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back in Total War Warhammer. We're going to be continuing the Colette campaign where... Victory is assured, sir! Well, that's true for Kolak, but maybe not so much for Archaeon, who's in more of a... Shameful display! Yes, that's correct, more of a shameful display. Sorry, I had to find an excuse to use those. Um, people were saying that I could go into a Force March here, and that probably would make sense. Let's see if we can get away from the dwarves far enough on one turn. It's possible we might. Yeah, we're actually outside of that guy's range. And we'll just see whether we can uh, throw the dwarves off our trail and try and keep our can alive because I, I think that'll keep all my buildings and stuff that I really don't want to lose. I turned off the uh, raise and revel mod. It was cool and I liked how it allowed me to do like a raise and uh, sack all at the same time, but it was also taking away a lot of the income that I was supposed to get from said sackings. So in any case, let's uh, end a turn. I think it's time for, s for such a thing. I need to get more memes loaded up, huh? Ooh, see that? The uh, the Dawi just gave up the chase. So, Archaeon will be able to, to rebuild. Thanks for the tip, by the way. Y'all reminded me that I had the Force March. I may or may not have noticed it. You, you guys know how I am. Wow, that is a whole lot of Thailands. Did they really think it's a good idea to attack Kolek after what happened whenever they attacked Archaeon's army? I refuse. I'll ignore yeah, I really don't think this is a good idea, friend. I mean, you're not my friend, but I still don't think it's a good idea. Oh, level 30. Check that out. Shadow Sorcerer. Come from enemy buildings. Zealot. I've already got a uh, word. Spoiler proponent. Is there anything worth getting here? Advocate. Misdirector. Hardy. Occam's Mind Razor. Nope. We pretty much got all the good stuff. Assault units with more damage, maybe. And then, uh, just go with this misdirector. All right, so level 30, pretty sweet. Colex level 30, his sorcerer's level 30. So we got some good stuff going on there. I think we should just go ahead and uh, attack these goons. I don't have a very, oh, we can lightning strike all of them too. <laughs> oh, Colex smash, baby. Lightning strike. Good grief, this is going to be funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing Tylea didn't didn't count on the fact that we had Lightning Strike. Speaking of Tylea, I'm wondering... I, I really wonder who this new faction in Total War Warhammer is going to be. So in case you all didn't see my video, which I think a lot of you did, because it got a ton of views today, which thank you. I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, it's always very humbling to know that I get that many views um, in a day. It was it was a lot for me. I mean, it's like 30,000 views in the first day, so thank you. Um, it makes me happy to know that you're enjoying the content I put up. Um, so, in any case, yeah, I mean, I'm really curious to see what the faction is going to be that they're going to add, because it's going to be pretty cool to figure out. Um, Tylea, I'm guessing, is not it, but then, I mean, people were mentioning stuff about something called Dogs of War, I don't really understand the Dogs of War. I mean, they made it sound like it's kind of like a roving band of mercenaries, which sounds like it could be cool. Um, Ninja Hun was almost thinking that it was like going to be Daemons of Chaos, um, which could be cool. I hear that Chaos Dwarves aren't very far off of the existing map. And, um, yeah, some people are saying Tomb Kings. Something tells me they'll probably end up in Game 2. But then again, I don't know. I don't really know if I know enough about Warhammer to really make those kind of predictions. I'm, I'm excited about anything they give us really, to be honest. They've done such a good job with the game so far that I feel pretty confident. Oh yeah, we're not waiting. We're gonna give these guys a good old country thrash in here. Okay, I think we got all the hand gunners. Okay. Oh no, they hit me with the flaming head. My life is over. Oh, good. Now that they've blobbed everybody up. Appreciate that, by the way. Okay, let's use a power stone. Group three. Let's dive down in here and really see if we can turn up the terror a notch. Get down there, please. 
Chaos Knights. Koek doesn't have his lightning yet. Oh yeah, yeah, we got some serious terror going on in here. Let's get a look at this. Just look at the absolute slaughter. Got the Manticore down in there. Shagoths, the Chaos Knights with lances. The infantry hasn't even made it here. And already the uh, Tylean army has pretty much been put to flight. Kill their lord. Let's get all our infantry in. Let's get rid of these Empire Knights. So we're going after my Manticores. Manticores get back out here after the hand gunners. Some more hand gunners regroup back here. All right, that's gonna be the end of the Tylians. So another Kolak hammer smashing victory, and another defeat of Tylea. So no big surprise there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard to stop six dragon ogres. I mean, that's... I mean, unless they have a build very specifically focused to do so, and I'm not even sure that they really have... I mean, it'd have to be like all Demigriff Knights with Halberds with a Lore of Life. Holy moly, 20% ward save. Yeah. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and put that to good use. Uh, speaking of ward save, where's Mr. The Ever Chosen? Let's get him. Uh, he should be safe to go into an encampment now, T, by the way. And if we can get in here and we're doing the building repair, we can give him the 15% ward save now. So that would be good. And then we need to do some recruitment. It's crazy how he can actually recruit these troops even when the actual buildings in the thing are damaged, which is really kind of odd. I want my hell cannons back. I shouldn't get them first, though. I should actually get some... Well, let's go ahead and get the hell cannons and the uh, chariots. Probably more useful to me than infantry, honestly. And then we've got 10 more. So I found that these chosen haven't been worth very much. Not the standard ones. I mean, they're kind of tankier because they have the shields and stuff, but they just don't damage the dwarf infantry very much. Then again, I don't know. Maybe they're better because really I'm just trying to hold them in place while I do the damage with the, uh, the other stuff. And they have pretty sturdy me uh, melee attack, whereas the... I think the Chosen with Great Weapons. Yeah, or this Chosen with Halberd, Chosen with Great Weapons. Oh, they still have really good melee attack. These guys have much better melee defense, and they have a shield, though. Let's just mix. There we go. So that's going to end up being a ton of my money, but it's all right. We can earn it back. It keeps saying that Tylea has, like, some kind of excellent chance against me, and I'm really not sure how... They figure that is. I mean, what are howitzers going to do? Seriously. Very little is the answer. Very, very little. So let's give all these guys a solid beat down here. And I wish I could just, like, tell the computer, just remember my formation here. Act you know what? We're going to do... It takes these halberds so long to get to the fight. I'm going to do two lines. And we're going to put them in separate groups. Then get these guys. Roll my knights separate. Did y'all hear that Kolek is enraged? I am enraged. <laughs> Good to know, Kolek. Good to know. Okay. Start the uh, deployment. Forsaken, come screaming forward. Halberds will get their way after the battle's already over. Okay.
Took a little bit of damage with my Manticores in that last battle. It's kind of irritating. These guys sure are spamming the great swords and not doing them a whole lot of good, really. Let's just plow right into the middle of this formation, straight into their handguns. Okay, just get up here. Wow, look how slow the stupid Chosen are. But if Forsaken were good against um, armor, I mean, they would literally have no downsides. Okay, we're going to get straight into the handgunners because they're my biggest concern. Drop a pit of shades. Let's get away from the pit of shades for a moment. And let it really catch up the enemy. There we go. Perfect. Keep attacking. I hate the misclicks. Good grief. I get so many misclicks. Let's drop the helm of discord over here. Get the power stone racked up. Arcane conduit. And then let's bring in the forsaken wrap around with the knights and our very stereotypical beat down has begun the helm of discord and all this beating and terror and everything else it is just not going to go well here for the uh, AI how are they even alive right now I guess just their lord get in here. Just ignore their lord. He'll route momentarily. <laughs> My halberds like finally get to the battle. Like, it's kind of over, but you know, welcome to the fight nonetheless. Alright, so another quite simple beatdown. 108 kills from that one <laughs> one pit of shades. <laughs> I love pit of shades. It's such a fun spell. All right, so we're gonna gain more favor. Sacrificing plenty of captives. Look at these idiots running away from me. I could lightning strike here and kill these guys even worse. And so I think I will. Take the favor once again. I'm gonna lose some of my um, easier to recruit units there. That's no big deal. Picked up another crown of command. Averheim. Ha! <laughs> the lightning strike because they have reinforcements. Hilarious. I'm just going to auto once all my way through a couple of these. We're going to sack. And then we'll turn around and raise it. It takes more time, but having sacked their building here is going to be useful because then we can head into a camp, start to replenish, recruit our Forsaken back. In fact, let's just go ahead and do some merge. Make that two forsaken, please. Maybe. Let's make it three. There. Merge those units. And we get one more. Not the chosen. Let's just get the end. Some of you are like, Air, why the halberds? Well, I'll switch up in, in due time. I'm using the halberds because at one point the uh, these guys fielded a bunch of cavalry against me. So that's why. But uh, you're correct. I mean, they're obviously not the best one against the dwarves or anything like that. Absolutely. 100%. Agree. Ooh, the Dawi don't like me camping out over there, so we're unfortunately going to have to pick up and move on. Really? Clan Angren? And it says Clan Angren has a really good chance of beating me here. I mean, they do have a frightening number of Iron Breakers. So you're trying to think. Um, Belagar Iron Hammer. I have to be really careful with some of my units because they do have... I'm just going to fall back and fight these guys on my terms because I don't want to take a ton of damage with all these enemies around. So like I said, I'm going to fight these guys the way I want to, when I want to. They're only attacking me because my numbers are slightly lower right now. So the AI gets courageous whenever they think that they're going to have an advantage. Oh, yeah, now they're going to get joined up with Talea, and Talea is going to come and join up with the uh, dwarves. All right, whatever. If you insist on dying now, I'll go ahead and suffer your wish to come true. 
the Iron Breakers concern me a pretty great deal because the way they can just keep hurling satchel charges and it looks like they're gonna come on the field probably from either here or over here if the dwarf army is the one coming on from right here no that's Tylea that clan Angrand army is the one that concerns me more than anything I'm actually kind of thinking I'm gonna ignore this eh, let's just wipe him out one at a time we got the Thailand army right here in front of us. Let's wipe them out. I really would rather wipe out the Clan Angrand army when it can't get in any good position to uh, fight back, but we'll take what we can get. We got really good winds of magic to start with. Start the battle. Group one, go ahead and come forward. Group two. Let's just wipe out the Tilaeans here. Dead on arrival. Straight into the handguns, please. Go hit the mortar. Let's do a rear attack here. Forsaken over here. So like I said, we'll, we'll try and take out one army at a time. Might as well. This is just freebie right here. These guys are going to near instant route. And I won't take a lot of damage because I've pinned them up on the corner here with no room to be effective. Now, Clan Angren. If their army doesn't march together as one, we have an opportunity here to sneak up from behind this hill. What? He's routing. Get off the battle map, you idiot. I bet you this guy's gonna try and come back. Where's my Chaos Knights? Turn around. Escort him off the battle map, please. He's gonna come back from routing before I can get there so irritating the way he's routing rather than just going off the nearest like he's running towards the edge of the map okay here we go group one let's see what we're up against yeah so all those iron breakers have a really good line at me let's actually cram up against this wall oof man though no, those iron breakers yeah the doll we are trying to kind of blob up against me maybe we should ignore him for a minute Yeah, let's just ignore him for a minute. Let's go ahead and drop some Pit of Shades all over him. There we go. They're going to walk a bunch of their troops right into it, so be happy to give them what they like. Let's just pull back from that for the moment. Okay, that guy's off the battlefield. Group 2 and Group 1. Let's go uh, destroy this Talian army. And let's see if we can keep the dwarves busy with their infantry. Our infantry is incredibly slow is the only downside. Okay, we're gonna attack this Talian force. There are a few handgunners, so let's try and get into them first. Keep pulling back. Okay! Pull through to the handguns. Colec, let's drop some lightning back here behind me. Oh yeah, pretty good lightning strike. Okay, the handgun should momentarily route. Let's turn back around. And let's drop Another Pit of Shades right here. We have a good opportunity. Let's pull back so we don't get hit by the Pit of Shades. Back up. Back up. 
Okay, perfect. Leave the middle of their inf or their infantry right in the middle of it. Two. Uh, no, actually, hang on. Three. Three down here. Group one. Finish these guys off. Group two. Continue to pull up here to the hill. So our plan is falling nicely into place. We just got to finish taking these guys out. Helmet Discord will help. Power Stone. Filth Mace. Alright, so that's going to be the end of that. Let's get our Manticore up and away. Okay, the Tylean army is no more. Okay. So now we kind of have the uh, Dwarf army in a position where I want them. Where they don't have any other support. Some of these Tylean troops are going to come back. It's unfortunate. Okay, we got a decent amount of wins of magic left, so we'll wait till we get the maximum dwarf blob. Alright. I want the dwarves to try and kind of come at me over here. Handgunners came back? That's irritating. They've got some thunderers. There's a grudge thrower back there. Let's swing around over here. Killing Belagar is not going to create any kind of insta route with this army. And with the type of hard hitting infantry the dwarves have, I'm going to need to do. Ooh, look at this though. Belagar is actually uh, pretty, pretty isolated. This is a pretty good opportunity for us. Take out the Grudge Thrower. Let's keep falling back with the infantry to try and keep the dwarves in a bad position. Yeah, I told you to go attack over here, not to stop and let Belagar attack you. Yeah, look at all the support way away from Belagar, so we will definitely take advantage of that. I thought I told you all to come over here. Stay outside of the Iron Breakers range. Okay, let's run an attack here with all our chosen. Grudge Thrower is going to die, so our infantry should be safe. Uh, let's actually keep these guys in the forest. They can come in handy later. Belagar is going to get kicked around so much by all of our charges that it's actually not going to be super effective to just stay in prolonged combat. It's better to just do hit and runs on him. You can see that because he gets knocked around, it saves him from a pretty considerable amount of damage. Okay. Let's focus over here because the dwarves have left themselves somewhat exposed. Swing around here. Okay, I actually do want you to kind of come forward and attack over here. Forsaken. Okay, perfect. Forsaken can get in there. Let's bring these guys back over to the mortar. Swing with magic background over here. We're going to take a bit of a beating here from the dwarf infantry initially. Uh, you all get over here. But this will at least allow our Forsaken to get rid of some of these guys, and we'll keep some of their infantry busy, even if it's just for a moment. Let's keep that infantry busy. Once the Forsaken wipe those out, that's going to be helpful. Wipe that out. Wizard, perfect opportunity right there. Okay, wipe them out. Let's swing up here. So basically at this point we're we're piecemealing the enemy. Let's get into those long beards. They're gonna get right up here behind these handguns and wipe them out, or the uh, thunderers. Now we can really lay down the hammer over here, and we should be able to get away before the Iron Breakers get too close. Really? Those Quarlers with great weapons came back? Put an end to that. 
There's a Slayer unit in here, I think. Yeah, ignore the Slayers. Push forward. Take out the Iron Breakers. Alright, actually... Let's get the Shagoths out, and let's get these guys out, and let's get some of these Halberds to counterattack some of the incoming units. Let's take the Forsaken out because they're quicker. Let's swing back around. Get our Lord or our uh, wizard back ready to do some uh, work. And let's swing into this flank. And our Forsaken are free. I don't know where those Iron Breakers are going, so actually chase them. Okay, you guys get over there and take out those freaking Quarlers that came. Actually, you go take out the Quarlers. Okay, Kolek. Put a quick attack down right here. Pit of Shades, perfect opportunity right there. Wizard. Mystifying my asthma. Probably not going to want to stay in this fight. Let's get out. Kolak and his minions are the only ones left here. They are causing a lot of damage, but we've lost most of our support troops, so this could actually get a bit dicey. So I don't know if Kolak and his troops can uh, pound out this many Dawi without any winds of magic left. Yeah, we don't have any power. We're going to have to do some hit and runs here. Go ahead and heal up Kolak. Fall some of these units back. Three, back up in the air. We want to do hit and run only. So this is going to turn into a straight test of uh, metal here. Ooh, yeah, we don't want these guys around. Right here, take these guys out. Get over here. Yeah, there's just no winds of magic left, unfortunately. All right, the Rangers of the Great Weapons are going to buy the farm. Dwarf units, though, are not going to want to give up, and this is going to be probably one of the biggest tests that we faced with our uh, Shagoths. Have to keep flying around. Let's get back over here, Forsaken. Quick charge, back out. Let's tie down some of these iron breakers. The dwarf infantry is getting jacked up pretty hardcore, but um, still challenging to say the least. So, like I said, these guys aren't just being good little boys and dying. Okay, let's keep our hit and runs up. Okay, Belagar is getting savaged, but so are my Shagoths. This is actually going to be one of the closest fights that I've had with Kolek. Ooh, and that's not good. Those Iron Breakers. we got to take out the Rangers with great weapons. If we want to have any chance, those guys are going to have to die. Here we go. Here's a helpful tool for me. Okay, get over here. Back in the air. Back in the air. It's a rear charge while we got a little bit of momentum going on here. So we got the Helmet Discord over here. Let's see if we can break these units up. I really don't want to lose my Sorcerer. Golly, there's still ammo left on some of those guys? That is crazy. Kolek can probably smash his way through everybody that's left, even if he loses his Dragon Ogre Brethren. But we need to take out Belagar. 
And we're gonna need to take out that Thane too. They're really the only units left that have enough power to really damage Kolek. These hammers should drop. Let's get out of here. Please kill Belagar. Stay focused. There, we got a really good hit in with Kolek. Strike some lightning here. Buff up our leadership. Wow, this turned into a really good fight. I knew these dwarves were going to be tough to beat, which is kind of why I avoided them first time around. But... Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. 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 Alright, Belagar's down. It's unlikely the dwarves will survive. But wow, did they ever put up a heck of a fight? Kudos to Clan Angrind, I guess. If by kudos, I mean eat a big fat stinking hammer. Alright. Shagoths for the win, baby. That was ugly, though. Yeah, Kolek is going to be pretty tattered, but I mean, even just one turn of healing, and I should be able to get back everything I need. So, Belagar goes down. Hammers. Did that Thane survive? Yes, he did. But I don't really feel like chasing him down at this point, so... Let's just kill most of these Iron Breakers. If the AI, though, has any situation where the Autoresolve thinks it's going to be beneficial, it's going to go ahead and try and take it. So, I want to leave this army as tattered as possible. Wow, our Shagos really pulled some weight there. <laughs> but I, did, I do think we lost a bunch of them, unfortunately. But... We'll see. Wow, that one stays. That one's gone. That one's going to stay. That one's gone. That one's gone. So we, we kept two of them. They're going to take a long time to retrain, which is unfortunate. Gain some favor. Really, only 835 favor for whacking all these guys? What a joke. It's not even a very funny one either. Yeah, look at this. See, that's what I said. This is the kind of stuff where Tylea thinks it's going to have an advantage, and then they'll move in. And they do have an advantage here. But Kolek has a healing potion. And I should have my Winds of Magic back. The handgunners are a pretty extreme concern for me, though. So, we are going to have to win this. And it's somewhat desperate, in fact. But yeah, Kolek will have a healing potion right off the bat, so he can get all his uh, energy back, and he's got a pretty significant ward save. Unless it's in between turns, because I did switch it, and it takes like it takes a turn. Let's just hide here. You know, I probably could just kite the Empire to death here, and get away with it. Where's the timer? Is there not a timer? Really? There's no timer? Why is there no timer? Because I have game settings that include a timer. That's kind of weird that there's no timer. It's very convenient for the Empire, because I could kite them to death quite easily. But it didn't pop a timer for some reason. Well, that's irritating. I'm going to have to fast forward. Still well out of range. Let's go ahead and heal up as much of Kolek as we can heal up with that potion. Certainly not going to get him all the way, but it's a big help. I want to try and blob up the enemy as much as possible using Kolek so that I can let my magic um, be used to greatest effect, but I have the problem of the handgunners. The handgunners are a problem. Let's try and use the handgunners just for terror purposes. Let's 
thinking about drawing fire with these last few halberds because they're not going to make a whole lot of difference anyway rather than taking the, the hits with Kolek. Because Kolek is going to be my only real way to win this battle. Perfect. They took the bait. Take these guys back to kill the uh, cannons. Yeah, you can run handgunners, but you can't hide. Let's just lead these Empire Knights off for a few minutes. Works for me. Let's keep these guys running, and we need a Pit of Shades over here, and I can't afford an Overcast. That's not a very good cast. Can I cancel it? No crap. Oh well, it turned out okay. Get in there, can't afford that. All right, we can stay away from the Empire Knights, which is great. Kolek can have to kill the handgunners. The handgunners can cause too much damage. Getting rid of the handgunners permanently is actually gonna be a bit of a challenge. All right, these guys are gonna catch me, so just turn around and fight. Dang it, there's crossbowmen too. Okay, the handgunners are temporarily gone, so let's get back in the air. Crossbows concern me a little less than the handgunners, but it's still a concern just because it's kind of constant damage I'm taking and it's still not good. Really, these guys came back from routing while getting attacked by a terror unit? That seems a little bit hard to believe. Okay, those Empire Knights took a beating but did win their fight. Let's get back in the air with the Sorcerers. Right, the Sorcerer is going to be critical if I'm going to win. And I'm not sure I can win at this point. You really got to kill the handgunners, Kolek. I don't think I can impress that on your mind enough, buddy. The handgunners must die. We cannot win if there's handgunners on the battlefield. And we may not win anyway if the, uh, the battle bar turns against us. Okay, these guys have to shatter in order for me to truly be safe here. The bad thing is, is those Empire Knights are kind of on the way. That should be a pretty good strike. Okay, those handgunners are going to be gone for a minute. Let's get back over here because Kolek's going to need some help. Stay away from this fight until my support can get over here. These guys are probably still going to come back from routing. It's irritating, but they will because there's enough of them and they're far enough from the boundary. Like I said, it's possible that Kolak can smash his way through here. It's going to be very challenging. Especially since these guys are likely to come back from routing and start shooting. Yep. They've already done so. Okay, we terrorize the Empire Knights. Run, Kolek. Run, Kolek. Thank you. Let's let that Pit of Shades work its magic. Charge those Empire Knights. Get rid of them. Okay, Kolek, back into the Lord. Their Lord is on foot, which is very unfortunate for me. Freaking misclicks, gosh dang. Let's see if we can use that Helm of Discord to car cause a terror out real quick. Really, those handgunners are all the way back over here already? That That is truly difficult to believe. Come on, Kolek. Really? Yeah, thank you. It's like, where's the dang terror around here? Yeah, save the lightning.
those units should have all easily routed a lot quicker, and this handgun unit really got back over here a lot quicker than I expected, and these guys are back up on their... Yeah, there's no real concern for Kolek over here at the moment, honestly. But let's go try and get this Lord out a little bit quicker, because Kolek's taking some unnecessary hits from him here. How's this Lord still alive? Seriously. 906 weapon damage. What is this? And these great swords? Look how much damage they caused to me. They had Dis Helm of Discord and got hit by Feral Manticores in the back and didn't route. Kill this guy. The handgunners are back. Unbelievable. Of course the handgunners are back. And this Lord just keeps taking hits but doesn't... Yeah, look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. How many hits was Kolek missing? Kill him! Kill him! Chase him down and kill him. The battle bar is going to turn over here very quickly. And we are right on the edge of those freaking handguns. So, or, uh crossbows. How is this guy not dead? 70 hit points. Kill him. Hit him, Kolek. And he goes down to one instead of dying. Unbelievable. There he goes. Alright, kite away because we're going to take care of those crossbows. And then if we can blob up the rest of this infantry, I might be able to finish him off with um, a good pit of shades. We're going to have to swing back over here. Let's take out the mortars. we got to try and turn this power bar a little bit. Those crossbows. How big is their range? Is it like reaching like all the way up the hill from over there? We have unlimited lightning. Since it didn't give me a timer, I guess I could cheat these guys like that. That wasn't that good. These handgunners gonna yeah they're shattered. It's about time. Where are the crossbows going? Okay, the crossbows are chasing Kolek. How much winds of magic do I have? I got 32 in the power reserve, and I still got my power stone. Helma Discord doesn't recharge unless I'm in melee, unfortunately. All right, there we go. We're gonna get rid of the howitzer. The more of these units we take off the battlefield, the more it can save us from dying just due to the uh, the power bar. We are definitely gonna have to game the system in order to be successful here. Let me fast forward a bit. There's some great swords coming up over here. These guys are shattered great if we could try and quickly take care of these great swords while they're singled out. Let's hit play. Colex Lightning is available. I'll remember that. I'll try and use it to slow up some of these enemies over here. Alright, we should be able to terror out these guys. They really should be terror routing. Really should be terror routing. Getting pounded by three different monsters. Thank you. Crap. Freaking crossbows. Freaking hate the crossbows. I'm gonna hit the crossbows with some mystifying miasma. Those great swords came back like right next to my units. That's so irritating. I'll tell you what's gonna be irritating though. What I'm gonna do to these guys. I didn't mean to use that one. I meant to use the one that gives me the vigor. What's the range of my miasma? This is way too short. Better range on this. Let's see if we can get these guys. Come on, be a good one, be a good one. Be a good one. Not bad. Not bad. It's gonna 
do some pretty good damage. All the damage we can do before we get into an engagement will keep the power bar in our favor. I'm going to try and lightning the crossbows, and we need to try and get a pit of shades on the crossbows. Actually, I'd kind of like to save my pit of shades. Step right into that. Step right into it. Step on up, chumps. Yeah, decent little lightning attack. Alright, sorry you guys gotta watch this, but... Sorry, but not sorry, I guess is what I should say. I kind of think the best pit of shades is right back here, though. Probably ought to save the Pit of Shades, though, until I get the right opportunity. Okay, let's get over here. Kolek won't take a whole lot of damage from the crossbows. The halberds do concern me a little bit. I kind of want to get right in between these two units. Get up here, Kolek. We want to create the biggest blob possible so that my magic can really do its thing. Okay, and now if the enemy will turn around and come back this way, I should be able to line up the perfect pit of shades. No, Kolek, really? Hang in there, buddy. We need a terror out here. That's going to be our only chance. Power stone, please. Power stone. I really need another pit of shades. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Stay alive for just a second. Come on. Really? I need 14 and I don't have it. Crap. Collect routed. Get in there, quit getting staggered. This is so irritating. Kolek, just get away, buddy. None of these guys are terror routing. And... Okay, these guys actually did just route, so I need to stay on top of them. I got another Helm of Discord, though. I might be able to use that for a very cheeky victory here. We've got to keep both these units all the way off the battlefield. Wow, this is... I'm down to a hundred and something hit points with these units. But the more of these units we can drive off the battlefield, like, the better. Kind of need to keep attacking both. Just hang in there, Kolek. Uncle Air will save you. Where's the dang edge of the map? Holy cow, it's so far away. This is like a huge map. Come on, Daddy Kolek. We are completely out of magic at this point. The only way they're ahead of me right now is just sheer hit points, I think. This this unit shattered. That's fantastic. I have a Helm of Discord. If I could get just a moment in battle with the Helm of Discord, 
timed perfectly with the last rear charge that I've got in my guy here. It's down to 125 hit points and may die just trying to kill these halberds, but I'm hoping they'll tear her out near instantly. Yep. Okay, now they're shattered. Come on, get right in the middle of them. Well, yeah, I actually tried to dodge that. Like I said, I have a Helm of Discord, but I have to get all their units in it. I'm gonna have to route all their units, like, kind of near instantly. These little groups. Let's try and take care of this guy. <laughs> this is gonna be such a cheap victory. If I get the victory, because it is still quite questionable, in my opinion. We're gonna have to shatter these unit by unit. And if there's any AI with any movement points left, they're probably still going to try and attack me. Okay, these guys really not shattered yet? Okay. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Strike, strike! Yeah! There's still a lot of these guys left. I'd like to get like another good lightning strike or two, so you guys are just gonna have to put up with me for a minute while I kite and lightning these guys down to size. Hang in there, Colek. We ain't routing yet, buddy. On seven seconds, you can do this, Colek. I actually really need that ability thinking about waiting in the engagement until I get that leadership ability back, because without it, I may not survive. Because I may lose my leadership. I'll get some of those great swords. Quit running away! Take your lightning like men. Like dumb men. Okay, I didn't mean to click that. Alright. We're almost ready for this. We're almost ready for this. There's no winds of magic left, so there's really no point in that. Still got 20 seconds. I'm just gonna go up here to the top of the hill. Kinda give myself a good opportunity to charge from. Maybe let Kolek rest for a moment. Let's give him some of his bigger back. Okay, now let's just wait for a minute. We've got one chance at this. If I can hit him with the Helm of Discord, charge in the front with Kolek, and from behind with the Manticore, we might, might, might be able to pull this off. And I say that it is a big might. Kolek has gotten some of his vigor back. Got a good opportunity to lightning strike these guys. Here we go. The Helm of Discord. Come on, Terror. Come on, Terror. Got some of them going on a Terror route. Just got to get these, imp these great swords routed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Wow. Quite the clutch there, folks. Quite the clutch. It was cheap. I kited like crazy. And I don't feel the least bit bad for it. Though I hate that you had to watch it. But then again, I don't know. Maybe you enjoyed it. I doubt it. But... I just, I, I've come too far to see Kolek fall to that type of rabble. And I want to make sure he's safe at this point. So what I'm going to do is move as far as I can. Well, let's get a handle here on how far the enemies can move. So these guys can move a fair little bit. There's a river here, though, which is causing some of my problems. 
All I need is 25% of my movement points. Problem is, is none of the positions I can really move away from these guys. Do I like these guys are in force march? They can get down there. They can get to me right there. They can get... They can get all over the place, really. How come they can get so far across that river and I can't? I will not shame my clan. This is kind of weird. Like, it's it's really hindering my movement across that river, but if you look here with these guys... But they're on Forced March, and this so. this unit that isn't can't, so I have to believe that maybe that's Forced March causing that. So I think what I can do is Colec. It's going to take, like, all my movement points to fall back across the river, so that's irritating. I can't fall across the river and still have enough movement points to hit an encampment. And I can't risk running into a battle anywhere else. Because these guys will regroup enough that they could easily kill me on the next turn. Force March only gets them out to the moot. See, a regular one can't reach the moot. So if I could get all the way over here to the moot with enough movement points left to camp, which I can, I think we'll be safe. Onward to destruction! So I'm going to have to hit the camp here. And we need as many troops as we can get in one turn. Some Manticore would be a helpful pick for their terror. And then um, we're just going to get a... Uh, let's get one Forsaken because it can run down um, faster units. And then a bunch of Chosen. And let's see if we can end this turn... Successfully, wow, we are we are up on the ropes, huh, people? And the dwarves are actually coming out to attack me, so I was unfortunately about to get a bunch of these troops. I should have just trained these guys first because they were one turn, but I got greedy. I think I'm gonna have to leave because the, the dwarves might be able to attack me. That should get me far enough away from the dwarves, and then what I'll do with their Kaon is head in here and just get as many infantry as I can get in one turn. So there we go. My armies are very, very weak momentarily. If we can survive one turn just to get enough troops and get Kolak healed a little, we should be in good shape. Ooh, they got so close to attacking me there. Yeah, okay, no underway interceptions, please. Fortunately, no one could quite reach or attack Kolek all in one turn there, so I am going to get enough troops to at least have some defense. No! No! How did someone get close enough? This stupid Tylean army had just enough movement points to get to me. That's so irritating. It's going to be really hard to get away because the AI is just going to keep this up, but... See, all these guys are in force marched, and only one of their armies had to get close enough to attack me. It said it was a Tylean troop. These guys are in force march, though. So this dwarf contingent right here is in a standard. These are all in force march. My best bet is to try... Oh, this is frustrating. Because now the vampires might come attack me too. I'm in really bad shape with Kolek here. Because the AI is just going to be right there on my tail, chasing me with everything they've got. I just need enough infantry to help me survive a turn. And I just, I got a little bit of infantry with, with uh, Archaeon now, but it's it's not going to be enough to really stay away from either of these. Those guys can't move past there. Oh wow, this, this is such a desperate situation. But I think we can survive it. 
Every turn, my army just gets stronger. To the point where the Dalwey are going to be less likely to attack me. Same thing with Kolek. If I can just get one turn of recruitment with Kolek, it puts me in a whole different world. Let's just see. I can't leave it on such a cliffhanger, so that's why I'm trying to do another turn or so. Oh my gosh, I think these guys can reach me. That's why it's going slow. Dang it! Bull crap! How could he move that far? He was behind me to begin with. So now I have to retreat, which means I can't recruit. I'm going to have to just go on a force march to try and throw these guys off my trail or something. Because they won't quit following me. Problem is I'm dying of attrition here too. Really, you pop up a B stack in the middle of all this. Remaining the next turn, 209. So my guys are taking attrition. We've got to get far enough away from all these idiots that they can't get to me. Oh crap! There was a dwarf stack right over here. They can probably reach me. Well, at least our Kaon's safe now. That's a plus. Safe enough. So, I think I'm going to disband a couple of these units and try and get some Hell Cannons trained. And uh, we're going to have to go ahead and wait till the next episode, I think, to see what happens to Kolek. Yeah, those guys could reach me in one turn, so I'm going to have to fall back yet again and hope that they can't get me. They can't. And then they move the other direction. So now I'm not convinced that there's any army close enough to stop me from going into a camp. Because he's in a force march and he can barely reach me. So I don't think he can. Alright. Let's. Okay, I said I was going to go, but I really can't. Who calls me? If, the, if this guy comes and attacks me, Grombrindle, I think we can probably defend ourselves. He doesn't have enough infantry, I don't think, though his gyrocopters concern me. But we'll see. Let's go ahead and end just one more one more quick turn here. I can't help it. I'm, I'm invested now. Please. How can he reach me back? He was in Force March. Okay. Really? How? He was in Force March, and it barely got him there. Are you all seeing this cheap bull snot? I really don't understand. See, he force marches away like that. Golly. Just can't get one turn of reprieve here. Well, good news is, is our Kayan is going to be somewhat safe. And I'm going to actually move away from these Dalwe and back towards the Silver Road with our Kaon. Um, I've got a full army here. It's not it's not fantastic, but it's a full army. Dragon Ogres would be super, super helpful. Especially if we get Shagoths. Alright, well, what I'm going to do... Horde... It's not replenishing. We have to get far enough away from these dwarves to get some replenishment done. So I'm going to just kind of force myself away and just really hope there's not any Dawi up here. And hope that they don't follow. Dwarves are going to try and gang up on our Kaon. Those vampires are probably going to try and attack me, so I'm going to have to actually fall back yet again. I can't get around the dwarf settlement, though, so I'm actually back against the wall at this point. You disappoint See, a force march right there barely gets them to me, unless it's blocking it off because of that. Star It's the settlement that's preventing me from moving. All I need is one turn in the camp to get enough troops to try and hold out. One turn. Let's 
to get some chosen. A couple forsaken. Alright, this is it. This is probably the last hope for Kolek, folks. Really, really want him to get away. Go away, vampires. You get beat up after a couple of big battles, and then all of a sudden everybody's on you like a bunch of mosquitoes. Holy crap, we did it. So we're safe in our encampment, at least for now. So Kolek finally has a few troops to protect himself and probably enough to ward off imminent destruction. What I'm going to do is get a couple of Manticore because they're really great at causing terror and we're going to rebuild the Shagoth core of this army. So I think I can finally end it now on a note of maybe like a, a smidge of safety here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one. It was a long campaign. Do hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage signing off for now. Appreciate MSI sponsoring the channel. Appreciate you, my awesome viewers, for watching these episodes. And I can't wait to see you on more. Air of Carthage, signing out.